this isn't really um, a tutorial. I'll just be showing you several cool um, sites you can use for image editing. And um, this is the first video in this kind of like week long marathon of um, tutorials. Uh, since I reached 100 subscribers, I'm going to, for this whole week, I will, um, every day of this week, I will have a tutorial released. So, check back every day for a new tutorial. So, the first site I'll be showing you is called Splash Up. So, just go to splashup.com. And what's great about this is it opens up right in your browser, which, um, all the sites I'll be showing you, they open up right in your browser, and they none of them, you you don't have to sign up for any of them. So you can just automatically start. So Splash Up is pretty cool. It has most of the basics, um, like crop, rotate, gradient, shape, eraser, and you know, smudge. Most of the basics, so it's a, it's a pretty cool image editor. <clears throat> now the next is called Picnic. So just go to picnic.com. I'll leave link. Um, I'll leave um, links in the description to all of the sites I'm showing you. So this isn't really for making stuff from scratch, this is really, you have to have a source image and then you can just add, you can crop it, resize it, um, you can give your, <clears throat> you can give your picture a bunch of different looks. So you can like add a lot of different effects to your image. Um, and the next one is called Sumo Paints. And this is a really cool, um, this is a really cool one because it has tons of features. And what's really cool is I, um, I really like how they have a bunch of different brushes. Um, it kind of reminds me of what Photoshop has. It has a bunch of different brushes like this. Um, you can change how big they are. The their blend mode. And they automatically they give you tons, and you can edit. Um, you can like change a lot and a lot of the uh, settings so and this one has like a bunch of different um, features there's a lot on this one there's like the symmetry tool which is really cool because it lets you create um, and <clears throat> the next is called um, I don't really know how to pronounce this Pixlr I guess Pixlr.com. Um, this one's pretty cool too. It does um, have a few brushes you can use, and it has the basics: gradients. My oats. MyOats.com. This is a um, pretty cool site. So it's really good for making, um, I think these are called like fractal images and stuff. Uh, it's really fun just to mess around with. And you can browse around. Some people have made some really cool stuff on the site. So yeah, those are the several really cool sites that I found and I think you should check them out. And so I just like to thank everyone who subscribed.